Are you ready for some fun? <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that I love about Kay is happiness to her is simple. It's simple. It's this right here. It's holding somebody's hand. <laughs> it can be a noise. It can be a noise. It can be just a different face. Right? Yeah. What kind of face do I, I don't make? Know. <laughs> can you make some of the faces that I make? <laughs> So, just happiness. Happiness isn't materialistic, you know. Um, it's not having a good long-term relationship. It's in the moment. It's in the moment. <laughs> Can you make any funny faces? No. No? Uh -uh. What about one like this? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a joke. Are you ready for a really good joke? Yeah. Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. <laughs> Not knock. <laughs> Orange. Orange who? Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> <laughs> I said banana so many times. I know. It was like a never-ending joke. <laughs> what is Kay's diagnosis? Um. I don't know. There's a lot of different diagnosis that's come through the years. When I was growing up, or when I was young, uh, I knew it as mental retardation. Um, now people will go, oh, that's not nice. You know, that's not nice to say. Um, do you mean anything offensive by it? No, absolutely not. Uh, that's just what was told to me when I was young, you know? Um, now, I think they call it uh, an intellectual disability. Uh, I don't know. I think it means the same. Um, but I think people take offense to, I don't know, some of the old stuff because it's uh to the point right um i don't know what do you think when you look at Kay? <laughs> i see my mom <laughs> no. I, I the first thing when i see Kay is i want to give her a hard time <laughs> Joke around with her. That's what I want to do. Make her laugh. But do you like when your brother jokes around with you? Yeah. My mom's not here no more. So I just got my brother and them. What was it like when you came here to live with your brother? Um, um, I like it down here because... Mom not want me to do nothing for her, and I tell her to do dishes for her, and Mom tell me not to do them. She wanted to do everything? Yeah. Do you have a newfound appreciation for what your mom did all those years? Oh, absolutely. She was, in my life, 
the champion of completing her responsibility, um, taking on a task and seeing it through. I've I've never met anybody else that could do that. So, Kay, what memories do you have of your mom? Sometimes I help her clean house or the man that comes over fix our house for yeah. us and do dishes and an aid worker, right? Yeah, and it helps me clean my uh, clean my room and make my bed. So, do you remember what what did Mom always do when she sat in her chair? Um, I don't know what her does, but. She watched TV and that yeah. stuff, yeah. And what did she do with her needles? Making stuff. Yeah, she made what? A blanket. A blanket, yeah. Yeah. She used to crochet. Yeah. My mom was crying because I told my mom, don't die, we need you. But mom, no, wants to pass away. My aunt went over there and see her. Everybody did. It sounds like a, a fitting goodbye for somebody you all loved very much. Yeah. Do you think about her often? Yeah. What do you think about? Uh, well, I, I told my mom, uh, we need you here because we can help you. I don't think I could do it without my spouse, without my wife. Um, she truly... and. My thing is, I don't know why, right? Because it's not her sister, it's mine. Um, but she truly cares. And she gives it, like my mom did, 100%. When did you first meet Kay? <clears throat> um, when I was dating your brother. Hmm. Because I, I still did out in your wedding. You did get to stand up in my wedding, huh? Yep, when I started dating Gerald, that's when I met Kay. How long have you known her? Um, ooh, good question. How long have we been? <laughs> Let's see here, for 18 years. Did you always like coming to my house? Yeah. I think for Kay, it was simple, you know. Um, Jessica, she's always been... <laughs> She's always been very good. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. She's always been very good to Kay. And uh, I think without her, I don't know. I don't hey. think it'd be possible. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's uh, for us, for me and and uh, Jessica and the girls. It's 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 trying, you know. It's you trying, Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> you want to clean it up? I uh, I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's definitely been a, a learning curve to it all. Um, I, d I didn't realize it was this difficult. How would you describe your role within Kay's life? Um, I am her 24 seven caregiver. Um, I manage her, um, medications, make sure that she takes them on time, um, I make sure she gets out of bed at a decent time. Um, one of the things she does is she will stay in her bed until someone comes and tells her um, that it's time to get out of bed. So she does wait for um, she does wait for that instruction. Um, picking out clothes, we <laughs> I help her pick out clothes that are appropriate for the weather for the day. Um, I remind her when it's time to take a shower. Um, I remind her to make sure she brushes her teeth or brush her hair. Um, 
time when it's time to eat um, she won't come and say I'm hungry is it time for lunch like I have to re re say it's time to come eat we need to come and eat something now how do you feel when you sit between your nieces good what are your nieces like oh no are we nice or are we mean you nice you nice <laughs> do we like to have fun yes yeah. Only fun. Yeah. What do you do for fun with America and Liberty? We play Uno, right? Mm-hmm. What else do we do? Uh, we... I don't know what we do. Do we paint? Yeah, we paint. You mentioned off-camera that Kay is starting to show symptoms of dementia. Yes. Do you mind discussing that a little bit further? Sure. Um, so when she first came to live with us, her mother has had her set up in this in different systems to help her um, exercise her brain. So for her medicine, Kay says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to whatever day is today. So like today is Tuesday. She would say today, go through the days until today. Um, that we are forgetting. Um, we're forgetting the order of the days. I do have two, ne two nephews that are married and have their own family here in town. And we get to spend a lot of time with them too, right? Who did we see this morning? I don't know. Whose house did we go to? What house is? We didn't go nowhere. Yeah. This morning. This morning? <laughs> yeah. When we forget family members' names and we say that girl, it's like, well, which girl are we talking about? America or Liberty? Um... And there, are, yeah, there's just things that we are forgetting, and it's taken a little bit more patience and a little more understanding, um, especially when we, um, when the questions are constantly coming because we forget. When am I going to the dentist again? When do I have to go get my blood done? When are we? When are we doing my birthday party? Can I ask you questions about your memory? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it easy or hard to remember things? Yes, it's hard for me. Cause you know, I do some. I go to the, my room and I do stuff and that I don't say a word with nobody. Just sometimes I talk to John Jessica. Yeah. So sometimes you just forget things while you're in your room? Yeah. What do you think when you forget things? Mm, not now. Does it feel frustrating? Yeah. What can people do to help? Joe helps me and, and Jessica. Yeah. How do they help you? Cause it her her trying to help me do my uh my name and um. Do you forget your name sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. Does it help you just to have like a positive environment to make you laugh? Yes. Does that make everything a little bit more tolerable? Yeah. So if you're frustrated, laughter can help? Yeah. So maybe busting out some awesome dance moves? <laughs> I did that to the dance. You went to a dance? Yeah. And how old are you? <laughs> oh, take a guess. 30. 30? That's close. 31? 31? That's even closer. Yeah. How about you're going to turn 66? I'll be 66. Yeah. Are you older than me or younger than me? I'm younger. You're younger? How old am I? I don't know. Guess. 30? 30. 31? Uh, maybe more. 55. Five. Yeah. Now, here's a funny question. Would you like a funny question? No. Okay, I'll ask you a serious question then. If you had one wish, what would it be? I don't know. If you could wish for anything in the whole entire world. Two? You can have two wishes, sure. I'm a generous genie. <laughs> Who told you that? Aladdin. Where? I'm just joking. Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> <sighs>
If you could wish for anything, what would you wish for? You would wish for three wishes? Mm hmm So your wish would be for three wishes. That's a <laughs> that, good wish. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> what else do we do together? Uh, we'll go to the doctor, right? I take you to the doctor. Not too often because you are a healthy as a... Don't say it. <laughs> You're pretty healthy, so we don't go to the doctor too often, huh? No, this go to the dentist and some, some the eye doctor. Yep. Are you as healthy as a mule? No. <laughs> I told her she was healthy as a horse. No. But you're not a horse, huh? No. When we got blood drawn yesterday, I told her... I told her they got to check and make sure she's not a horse yet because she's pretty healthy. She doesn't have to do <laughs> not that. <all>. No, <laughs> you're a healthy girl, huh? But you are a healthy girl. And that makes us happy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What about silly sounds? Are you good at making silly sounds? Like, <laughs> <laughs> You do that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I heard a rumor about you. Who <laughs> told you? I heard a rumor that you are not in fact a human, but you're a horse. <laughs> Is this true? No. No or nay? <laughs> What is your favorite thing about living with Jessica? I help her. What do you help with? I sweep the floor and that, and I help with her dishes. What is the most important thing for other people to understand about Kay? I think it's really important that Kay um, feels needed and that she feels accepted. And I think that's why she, what she says, she likes living here so as she can sweep the floor. I think that's where she just feels like she's doing something, that she's a productive member <laughs> of our household, mm -hmm. huh? And that, yeah, that you're needed and that you are valued and that you have things to offer me, huh? When I, there's things I struggle with and you can help me. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you tell your friends about your aunt? Yeah. Yes. What do you say? Um, I say that she loves to play games and she like gets me to go outside and do more things except for be on my laptop. I warn them if they come over that she's going to want to play Uno and that <laughs> she's going to get really excited when she wins. And that she likes to do puzzles and stuff and she'll want to show them like all their all her things like on her dresser and stuff. Kay, do you have memories of your brother when he was young? No, not really. You don't remember when I was a little boy? Uh uh. I grew up poor. I was in a family that, you know, I had eight kids. I was born in South Dakota. Probably by the time I was six months old, we'd moved back down to Texas again. Um, and then throughout the year, according to the seasons, um, my dad would move from, you know, Texas all the way up through to Montana, um, just doing, you know, migrant work, working in the fields. Uh, we could, you know, do the harvest. Uh, shearing, shearing sheep was huge. Uh, and you'd be working too at these jobs? Absolutely, yeah. So, even as a 10-year-old? Even as a, even as an 8-year-old. Where would you stay and live when you were at these migrant camps? Um, we, we would literally camp. We would, you know, cook outside on a fire. Um, and we, everybody had a sleeping bag. And we just, you know sleep around uh, wherever they let us stay. So you didn't even have tents? You were just sleeping on the ground? Um, we progressed. Um, 
I remember when I was little, sometimes it was just a blanket on the, on the ground and you had a blanket over the top of you. Um, and probably by the time I was, I don't know, eight, eight to 10 years old, um, uh, my uncle had bought a bus, uh, an old school bus. And there would be in the very back half, there would be, uh, excuse me, there'd be a, a kitchen, you know, made up in the back. And then in the front, a lot of us kids had, you know, bunks that we could sleep in, cots. Your brother told me about when you guys were young and you lived in the school bus. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, we was living there. What was it like living in a school bus? Because we had to cook for everybody. That was your job, living there? What would you cook? Uh, chicken or rice, then that for them guys. What is it like to have so many shared memories with your sister who's starting to forget some of them? Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of fun at one, you know, at some points because just out of the blue, she'll come up with a memory and talk about, you know, talk about like she, uh, she brings up a greenhouse. Um, it was a house that, you know, I grew up in, um, for some time, but at the same time, we didn't even have plumbing till I was 13 years old. What were some of the big difficulties you faced growing up? Did you face any challenges? Nuh-uh. Everything was gravy, baby? We had Sammy Little, and Mom and them go so hard, change his diaper. Was that your younger brother? No, it was my brother. My small brother drowned it. He died. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. That must have been difficult for you. Do you think about him often? Yeah, sometime. How do you feel when you think about him? Because we took him to the the church and and go better him. That like my mom did. What I we did to my mom. Do you remember going to that? Mm hmm. Yeah, we put bars on it. When your aunt Kay was moving in, what did your parents teach you about her? that we need to include her more and we need to spend more time with her. Yeah, instead of just being in our rooms in the dark. <laughs> so in a way, Aunt Kay is teaching you some things about getting out and connecting with each other. Yeah. Yes. What is that like? Um, in my opinion, I think it's really fun to like spend time with her and go outside and just do different things and learn new things. I've been working on my dance moves. You did? Yeah, I've been working all night in the mirror, my dance moves. Would you like to see? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing at my dance moves? This is good. This is hip. This is what all the kids are doing. <laughs> so that's my go-to, this one. But I also have this. How do you feel when your sister laughs? Um, good. It means that her life is, you know, what she wants it to be, I guess. Um, it's fulfilling to her. That's a big uh, thing to me, really, is just making it the best that I can. You know, I didn't have a, I didn't have a huge hand in her growing up or uh, even after I graduated high school and moved on in life, it was kind of leaving all of that behind. Um, but now, it's, uh, it's all I think about. Well, it sounds like you have lots of wonderful things that happen in your life and lots of really loving people. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, for sharing your story and sharing a laugh with me. 
To end this interview, do you want a serious question or do you want to laugh together? Is that the <laughs> We're blessed. We're definitely blessed to have her with us. <laughs>